Okay, hi. I hope this helps you. I've got a trial version of Home, Home Designer Pro 2023 open. I, I use Cheap Architect Premiere all the time. Yeah, I thought I'd be, you know, use this anyway. I'm just going to go to File, Import, PBF, left click. And then this is something I created myself, but it's, it's good in that a lot of people, a lot of PDFs will sometimes import at scale, but sometimes they don't. And then this one's scale for 11 by 17 inch paper. So it's not going to come in at scale. See, this is 11 inch by 17 inch. And the first thing you want to do is, well, the first thing you want to do is determine where 0, 0.0 is in the desktop. <laughs> that may seem non sequitur to you, but it's important later on. I'm going to go over here to, yeah, this tool here, point tools. And there's input point. I'll double click on that to open it. And it's set to zero, zero X and zero Y. Let's click OK and it cre create the point somewhere. Ah, there it is. That'll be, that'll be important later. That's 0, 0.0, and that's where you always want to start your model, one corner of your model on 0, 0.0, because to do otherwise and not pay attention to that, sometimes your model won't look correct in 3D because it's it's off its origin point. 0, 0.0, 0x, 0, 0, 0y is called an origin point. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought I'd mention it though. Now, if, once it's imported and it's oriented properly, and I, I already oriented in mine. If a, if the sometimes like with surveys, the, the survey will come in at an angle, and you want to match the angle of your desktop, and not try to draw everything at an angle. That's just too, too makes the whole job too hard. Turn it and make sure that it's, uh, uh, you know, that this is 90 degrees to your desktop and so forth. Okay, so got some dimensions here. They go to the dimension tool. Put the tape. Carefully put it on that dimension point. And then left click drag. You can see, well, it's nine foot, almost nine foot, and almost 10 feet, but the dimension is 13 feet. So the thing to do is get out of the dimensions, click on the PDF, and then there's a tool right here in your edit toolbar. This is a, let me undo that. See, the edit toolbar disappears, only appears when something is selected. See, let me drag this off of here. You can see, it. unless you never drug it off, you'd never see that it says edit. But this was, when this pops up, these commands are germane to what you selected. So I'm going to click on this tool here, which is point to point resize. Left click. And I'm going to left click carefully. Left click. And then carefully place my cursor before I left click. Left click. Then you get this dialog. I'm going to put in 13 foot 4, 13 feet 4 inches. Uh, now I'm going to check that spot again. Now this is only one axis. You have to do this in both axes. See? Okay. I mean, my dimension points might be off, but now it's, it's at scale. Got the idea? Okay. Now I'm going to go over here on the right side. And the bigger dimensions are the better ones to use rather than small ones. So I'm going to go again, this selective PDF, which brings up. <laughs> I don't see. Oh, there it is. No. I can't. I don't see my. I don't see my. Uh, 
edit toolbar anymore. That sucks. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> now I got to click on this tool and zoom in on the dimension I want to do. Yeah, there's 14 foot four and a half. So I click on that dimension point of that dimension and click on this dimension point, get the dialog, and that's 14 foot four point five inches. 14, four and a half. Okay, I mean, you always check your work. Never assume everything's good. Go to your dimensions. See if it comes out close to 14 foot four. And it does. Okay. And then it's probably a good idea to check your, the, the, another, other axis dimension. See if you, you just need to do this until you got it pretty dead accurate. That's no, that's, that's okay. I mean, see the original guy's dimension points and your new dimension points, it's almost impossible to get them exactly the same. So as long as it's close, you gotta be good. I've been doing this for 30 years and uh, never gotten into much trouble about doing this. And uh, they want you, if you're going to trace over this, I would take this, click on the PDF, use point to point move, and click on like this corner of the, of the soon to be model, left click, and then put it on that origin point. Then you, can, then you can set up your defaults and start drawing. Anyway, see, a lot of PDFs are drawn at quarter inch scale on 24 by 36 inch paper. And they'll, they'll commonly come in when you import them that on a scale, but you can't really, uh, can't really count on that. So that's the reason I did this video to show you what happens when the scale is not a quarter inch scale and it's not 24 inch by 36 inch paper. Okay. Uh, well, have a good day and thanks for watching.